Hey guys, Moose here. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you folks real quick about um, a video and a promise that I made about starting to talk about gold recovery. Um, before I made any more videos on that, I wanted to um, just make a few things very clear. Uh, one, I'm not a professional, so um, if you see me doing something in a video with gold recovery, um, you should still absolutely do your own research um, and you know, weigh out the risks yourself. Uh, these processes or processes do uh, deal with some very harsh chemicals that can in fact be deadly and at the very least very dangerous um, if you want to uh, to see that just google uh, HCL burns or hydrochloric acid burns um, now hydrochloric acid is sold just about any hardware store uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not dangerous uh, you still need to take some serious precautions with it including you know eye protection um, hand protection, it's good to wear an apron. Um, the things you're going to need when we do these um, little experiments I'm going to show you with gold recovery um, it's just one particular method, it's the acid peroxide method uh, which is going to be used to remove gold foils from gold fingers. Uh, you can also use it to remove uh, gold foils from um, circuit boards if there is a copper etching underneath them. Um, what we're going to do is combine hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide in a specific formulation to um, uh, dissolve or um, create a chemical reaction that forms copper 2 chloride and what that's going to do is it's going to release the gold foils from the circuit board. Um, you want to make sure that you have um, <clears throat> tempered glass container like a coffee pot um, or Pyrex. Uh, you're going to make sure that you have a place outside to do this. Um, the first few hours of the reaction there's going to be a lot of dangerous fumes coming off of that. Um, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you have a place outside that's free of animals and children um, or at the very least supervise it for a few hours. Um, do not do this inside of a garage, especially around your tools. The fumes can actually start to damage your tools. You will notice that they will start to, to rust. Um, here's a good example. This is a um, crescent wrench, uh, adjustable wrench. Um, this was shiny like this, and now it's all dull like this. That's because of hydrochloric acid fumes. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, make sure you have rubber gloves. Um, make sure you have uh, eye protection. Um, and make sure that you, before you do any of this yourself, please go to uh, the Gold Refining Forum um, and, and, and read up um, on what they have to say. Don't, uh, please try and read a lot before you start asking questions. Some of the folks in there get pretty frustrated when people come in looking for uh, quick answers without you know doing any of the work of research. Um, there's a book by Hoke that you should read um, that's available online for free. Um, and by all means, if you have any questions, um, I'll do my best to answer. It doesn't necessarily mean that I can't answer them. I will try. Uh, also, Original Feats has some great videos out there. So does um, uh, a few other people that I'm going to mention in the description of this video. Um, so that's it. So it's getting warmer here in Maine, so I'm going to be able to start doing this, this um, these videos very quickly. Um, and I hope you watch. See ya. Stop! Don't go anywhere. Comment. Say something. I want to hear from you. Why don't I want to know if you think I'm doing something great? I'm doing something bad. What I can do better? All comments are great. Make a suggestion. What you want me to scrap next? And see you on the next video.